right guys welcome to a very special episode of rolling with t-bone if you are new here welcome in my name is t-bone and i shoot motorcycle related content and any kind of content really if you are new here uh welcome in you're coming in on a very special episode today so if you're old here you know what's going on as we roll out on jazz Today's episode is going to be devoted to one subject, guys, and y'all see by the thumbnail that it is Forgotten Angels. If this is your first time ever hearing about Forgotten Angels, I hope you take the time to uh, watch this video all the way through to the end and maybe give this organization your consideration because that's basically what i'm doing today is just presenting it for your consideration so what is forgotten angels well let's talk about just a little bit of what makes a organization like forgotten angels need to exist in the first place now if you're older like i am Imagine turning 17 years old. Uh, you know, mom and dad have got you the car. You're getting ready to graduate high school. You're getting ready to step out into a whole new world. And yeah, there's a little bit of fear and there's a lot of excitement because maybe you've already got your college career mapped out in front of you. Maybe you already know exactly what it is you're getting yourself in for. But there's excitement because you are getting ready to take your first step into being an adult, a self-sufficient adult. And yeah, you know, it's exciting, it's uh, nerve-wracking at times. That's one side of that coin. But let's flip that coin over to the other side for just a few minutes. Now go back and imagine that you're 17 years old and you're in terror of the fact that you're about to turn 18. Why? Because you have no clue what your 18th birthday is gonna bring for you. You see, because you live in a foster home and let's say you haven't been in the best foster home that there is. And you know the day that you turn 18 these folks are going to take what little bit of belongings that you have. They're going to put them in probably a black garbage bag, if you're lucky. And they're going to open their front door, push you out of it, and good luck. See you by. You're standing out on the street with nowhere to go, no one to turn to. The state has already said, 18, you're an adult. These people don't have to take care of you no more because you no longer benefit them by receiving a monthly check for taking care of you. That puts a totally different spin on turning 18, doesn't it? Well, that's happening every day, guys, across this country and around the world. Young men and women are aging out of the foster care system and they're being turned out into a world where they have no clue if they're going to die on the street, if they're going to be able to live, eat, drink, work. They have no life skills because they've been in the foster system. And now, I want to say this too. I'm not attacking the foster care system because there are good foster parents. I'm not condemning the entire foster care system. But after these kids turn 18 and if they don't have no life skills, they're just set out and they're set free. Here you go. Sink or swim. You know, and uh, we hear the stories, and it's horror stories, of kids who can't cook, kids who don't know how to properly brush their hair or brush their teeth, kids who don't even know how to tie their own shoes. Kids who don't have any kind of chance of, of life, 
at life. They're, they're basically put out in the worst conditions that you can be set out into. And that's where the need for something like Forgotten Angels comes from. Now, I know what you're thinking. You hear the word charity, and you automatically start getting nervous because you start thinking about CEOs and big offices and grand delusions that you're helping all these people. And everyone's taking a slice of that money that you're sending until it's down to just cents to try to help kids or veterans or whatever the charity you donate to. But what if that isn't the case? And what if that's not the case at all for Forgotten Angels? Let me explain. Forgotten Angels is a grassroots organization that was created originally by a lady named Cindy and then she uh, her boyfriend now husband David Tilly is in it with her and Dave and Cindy work tires tirelessly to help people uh, especially kids who have aged out of the foster care system they bring them in teach them skills you know help them set up little tiny houses on the forgotten angels property a place where they can live they help them understand what they need to survive in the world and they try to help them get jobs and if they don't have their high school diploma they try to help them get their GEDs and while they're doing this they're doing it straight out of the Forgotten Angels fund so there's no COO CEO there's no big board of directors this is two people by themselves with a little bit of help from their friends like you and me that's helping them do this so that's where the need for forgotten angels comes from so let me talk to you just a little bit about David and Cindy if you want to understand what they're all about you have to go to forgottenangels.org slash Tampa because uh, the Tampa area is where this has begun but it's through the help of just ordinary people like us they're looking at getting spread into other states now and uh, David and Cindy are Christian folks who believe in helping their fellow man they believe in being good humans uh, you know David goes out in the winter time and takes clothes and shoes and blankets and gives them to homeless people and you know they they do a lot in their area and it's not just for the kids at Forgotten Angels but that's their main organization so you first have to understand just how selfless these two individuals by themselves are they don't take any of the money out of this everything that they do is shown for Everything that they do is directly affects the kids at the Forgotten Angels compound. There's no, we got to take this amount of money for this and this amount of money for this. There's nobody else to pay out. It goes directly to the kids. Every dime brought in. Because David and Cindy have their own money and they make their own money. Uh, so they don't have to take the money that you send in to help the kids out. Well, not kids, but young adults. So you have to accept that these folks are just, you know, they're doing a completely selfless thing in helping out these young people. You know, not giving them a second chance. They're giving them a first chance. The only chance that they've been given. The only time that a person that has not looked at them and thought what can I get for helping them what can I get for knowing them so you gotta you gotta look at it from a, a point of view of 
and like I said, it's not a second chance, it's a first chance. And for a lot of these kids, it's really their only chance. So why is it so important? It's important because we have all seen those people that later in life have been in and out of trouble their whole life. They've been in and out of prison. They can't stay clean. They can't keep their, you know, selves clean off of drugs. And we've all had that same thought, man. If somebody would have just stepped in there and helped them out when they were younger and give them some kind of direction, then maybe they would have turned out different. Maybe not, but maybe they would have turned out different. That's what Forgotten Angels is offering to these young people. It's the first chance to learn something, to get a skill. And, you know, you look at it from the point of view, like I was talking about uh, earlier, about turning 18, about how scary that is for these kids in the foster care system that don't have no other family. When they turn 18, there's no family that they can go to to get a leg up. They're just basically turned out and, you know, into a world that they don't understand. And you got to think about this, a lot of these kids that are in the foster care system, it's not the kid's fault that they're in the foster care system. They're there through no fault of their own, whether it's parents couldn't take care of them, or family dies and they had no other family to turn to. You know, they're there through no fault of their own. So instead of getting the best of what we can offer as a society, they just get tossed into a house with people who only see them as a paycheck. And now, like I said, I'm not attacking all the foster parents and I'm not attacking all the foster care systems because there are good ones. And my wife uh, was in the foster care system. Our one was, uh, she had two sets of foster parents that really she uh, loved and she always spoke fondly of them, which was John and Ella. And then I think it was, Mama Pat and Papa Jack was the other ones. She'll correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but they're not all horror stories, but by and large, there's more, there's more sad stories come out of it than there is, you know, happy-go-lucky stories or success stories, if you want to use that. Because these kids, you know, like I said, through no fault of their own, they have ended up in a system that first off was not designed to help them in the long term. It was just designed to help them to reach the age 18. So anything after the age of 18, this system that they're in stops there. Now, we've all had to have help at one time or another in our lives. We've all had to reach out to somebody to say, I just can't do this, I need a hand. Can you give me a hand? And there's no shame in that. There's no, you know, we all get prideful. We all get to, uh, we get to stand in on our pride. We get too proud to ask, but there's nothing wrong with asking for help. There's nothing wrong with accepting a little bit of help. And I'm very prideful. And, uh, you know, I'm very guilty of being prideful. But, When you turn to these, to this organization, the doors open, and these two people, David and Cindy Tyler, they're willing to open their door, and they're willing to open their hearts, and they're willing to teach these kids. They're willing to be that surrogate set of parents that are here to say, okay, we know life has dealt you an awful hand. We understand that. And we know you got dealt this hand out of no fault of your own. So let us lend you a hand. Let us see if we can't help you get, you know, and it's not just getting a job, it's not just getting life skills. They're helping to restore faith and humanity 
into these young people and some of these kids have been in the foster care system their entire lives they don't know anything different so by the time they get to 18 and they're turned loose out on the street they have through no fault of their own they've already seen what the worst of humanity has to offer that, you know no Christmas no birthdays no special moments no you know good job great job n none of that they've just got the worst of what humanity has offered so what David and Cindy are doing is they are yes they're helping with the life skills yes they're helping these kids try to figure out where they want to be in their life what they want to do but they're also restoring these kids faith in humanity that not all humans are that way not all humans are bad not all humans don't care there's a lot of us out there and, and I venture to say there's more of us out there than even credits given for that care you know can we always give a monetary donation no but we can do what I'm doing right now which is to talk about this thing and share it with somebody and I have made probably three or four of these videos and the Forgotten Angels logo is always right there in that corner because I want people to understand you know that it is important and it is important to show these young people that there is more to humanity than just what they've been subjected to for part of their life it's not all bad I, I, if that makes sense all right guys so if y'all have made it this far in this video i appreciate y'all coming in and listening about forgotten angels now i know like i said earlier the word charity in this country has kind of gotten to be a scary word for people uh, But this, I don't think that I really view this one as a charity as much as just trying to help somebody. Even if it's just in a, a small way of just a few dollars. So how can you do this? How can you help? Well, you can uh, help in several ways. If you go to Forgotten Angels, dot org uh, you can find out ways to donate money there is an app called harness that when you make a purchase at a store if your purchase is $13.49 well it will round that up to $14 and the change left between $0.49 cents and $14 will automatically be donated to Forgotten Angels so if enough people do that and you got enough people who are purchasing stuff and they're coming to you know just pocket change adds up so and it's not like they're asking for you know of course they won't you know to if you can afford to donate more that's fine but if you can only afford to just donate a few dollars then that is so appreciated and Dave and Cindy show so much appreciation <clears throat> and again like I said it's one of those things where if you can go visit the uh, the property they're always willing to welcome people in and take them for a tour of the property and you know if the young men are not at work or not doing something and they're there a chance to meet them shake their hands I mean you know see where your money's going and now of course they offer two campouts a year but you don't have to wait till those campouts but you know helping through harness just donate a few dollars or there's another way uh shade tree surgeon on youtube him and david tyler have got this set up to where they raffle off motorcycles once a month once every six weeks they buy the motorcycles out of their own pocket and they fix whatever needs to be fixed on them and for a $25 raffle ticket you can enter for a chance to win a motorcycle 
and they will they will cover the cost to fly you to Tampa and hang out with them for a weekend and you can either ride your motorcycle back home or you can uh, have it shipped to you within reason now if you're overseas I don't know how that works they might would just offer you the money you know whatever the bikes worth they might just offer you the money but uh, so there's different ways but it all begins with you visiting forgottenangels.org slash Tampa I think is how it's put in but I will double check all that and I will put it somewhere in the description on this video so that's how you help that's you know tell someone just tell a friend pass it word of mouth you know it might land in the ear of someone who can't afford to give a little to help because this is a what we call a grassroots movement guys it, it doesn't it's not corporate funded it's it doesn't have a big corporation behind it it's just two folks everyday folks like you and i that are doing the very best they can to be the change that we all want to see you know we all talk about how bad this world is that we have now just how bad things are well this is a small way of trying to be the change to hopefully make it a better world by helping out some young folks who need a first chance, who need their very first opportunity at life. And you know, you say, well, I can only donate $10 or I can only donate $5. You don't know how important that $5 or that $10 that you're willing to donate is because it all goes for the exact cause of help, helping these young kids out. So $5 is all you can donate, fine, donate it then they will and, and that's kind of what I've noticed with Dave and Cindy they will appreciate your five dollar donation just as much as they appreciate the person who spent five hundred dollars to donate because if you could only afford to donate five dollars then your five dollars that you might not have really even been able to spare is just as important as that five hundred dollar donation and it shows something else it shows that you care about your fellow human being and it shows that you want to help and that man that's guys that's the that's the most important thing it shows that you're willing to help it shows that you want to see these young guys guys and gals have a chance and that right there is appreciated way more way more than you could ever imagine just showing that you care enough to donate and to help to give these kids a chance and you know five dollars five dollars are very important you know people say well i can't do nothing with five dollars to but to someone five dollars may be everything so don't never think just because you can only afford to donate five dollars that that somehow lessens your donation because it doesn't your five dollar donation is just as important as the 25 dollar raffle ticket or the person who has you know a hundred or two hundred extra dollars in the bank and they say hey i'll donate this you know i'm just it's just there i don't mind donating it it's going to a worthy cause your small donation is just as important and i'll tell you something guys you'd be surprised how small this movement really is you know this uh this thing that we're doing here with Forgotten Angels, like I say, you'd be surprised just how small of a group this is. We're a real small community making big things happen. And we're all waiting on that one break to come to this for someone who may have celebrity to them or may have money to them or may be able to get the word out further 
I mean, we're getting the word out. We're in Australia. People in Australia know about Forgotten Angels. People uh, in England know about Forgotten Angels. People in Canada, Alaska know about it. We're getting out there, but we're still a very small community. And we're all waiting for that one big break for this thing to go viral and for everybody to be able to see what this cause really is. To be excited about what could possibly come from a cause like this. And what can come from a cause like this is the change that we all want to see. We all want to see a better world. Well, this right here, this little cause that we're working on right here can be that one spark that maybe starts a whole new thing. And it's humbling to sit back and watch what's happened just in the three, two to three years that I have known about Forgotten Angels. And of course, I'm not telling you to do something I've not done. I have purchased raffle tickets. I have been sharing this message of Forgotten Angels in all my videos for uh, a while now. And I've never asked, you know, I don't ask for anything. I don't ask for anything free. I don't ask for t-shirts, stickers, hats. I don't ask for any of that because that's not what I'm doing it for. I'm doing it because I feel like in my heart of hearts that this is the right thing to do. I feel like it's a worthy thing. So that's all I'm asking you to do today. If this video has any purpose, is I am asking you to just take a minute or two out of your time, go to ForgottenAngels.org and just read about it yourself. Read the mission statement. You know, read the stories that are there. Reach out to the Tillys, Cindy and David. Talk to them. Meet them for yourself. And then determine for yourself if it's worthy. Determine for yourself if it's the right thing. I've never met David and Cindy personally. I hope someday I'll be able to change that. But I'm just going on what I see around me. And David and Cindy both have just a just a huge strength of character. Their character is beyond reproach as far as I'm concerned because they're good people that are willing to add this part of their lives for selflessness and they're not begging they're not begging you for money they're not, they're not begging me for money you know you don't see commercials and television spots and radio spots and big corporate spots it's just two people who are trying to change the world the best way they know how and something that is passionate to them. And man, you know, you say one person can't make a difference. One, per one person can start a spark that can make a difference. And at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. We're hoping that all this just one video hits and goes viral or one person who has some influence, who has some power, who has some money that's willing to say, okay, I'm going to stand behind these guys because they're doing something good. But for now, it's just the regular folks like you and me. You know, people who maybe don't have all kind of the money, uh, who maybe have had a little bit of a bad turn at life ourselves, so we know what it's like to uh, to not always bat a thousand. But we've not let it sour us. We've let it mold us into who we are. People who are willing to help other people. To just be a good human. So, how important is Forgotten Angels? Wow, man, that's a... That's a very important question. Just how important is it? If you've made it this far, thank you for watching this video. I, I appreciate you taking the time to sit down and watch this video all the way through.
to understand how important Forgotten Angels is, I think it all simply comes down to one thing. Going, when you enter the Forgotten Angels property, there is a sign that I've never seen other than just in pictures and on video. But that sign has a couple of words on it that to a young person who has never had anything those two words can mean everything and those two words are simply welcome home wow yeah i got goosebumps on that one you've never had a home you've always been tossed from place to place family to family you never really felt like you were wanted to see that sign with those two words Welcome home. Oh, man, that, that's, that's how important Forgotten Angels is. That's how important Forgotten Angels can be to the whole country, to the whole world. And I'm hoping that they're able to get into Georgia and get close enough to me to where I can make regular pilgrimages to the property in myself. Uh, but yeah, man, you know, welcome home. Two words that can put your mind to ease a little. That can take a little bit of fear away from you. And to know that the people that put that sign up mean it. It's not just a sign to welcome you to the property. It's not just a sign to say, hey, you're, you know, hey, here you are. It's a sign that says, welcome home. That's how important Forgotten Angels is. So guys, I know this video is getting a little long in the tooth, and I hadn't made a video for Forgotten Angels just specifically in a little while. So if you made it this far in the video, what I would like for you to do, I, I will, I usually don't ask for anything other than just the normal stuff. But I will ask, please, this time, share this video. Tag friends in this video when you share it. Put it on all social media platforms that you can. Help us get the word out. Let's make our small group bigger. Let's keep adding good people to the cause. And when you, and when you go to research Forgotten Angels for yourself, do me this favor. Look past the exterior of all the stuff that you might see. Go to the website. Go to the heart of Forgotten Angels. And study it for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. Don't take the next person's word for it. Please, take the time and just go see for yourself what the mission is. And as I said, share this video, please. Tell somebody. It don't cost anything to look at a friend and say, hey, have you ever heard about Forgotten Angels? And they say, no, I haven't. Pull out your phone, pull up the website. So when you get a chance, read this, check it out. It's a worthy cause. It's, it's you know, in a country, and I know, like I said, charity is a scary word. And in a country where our veterans are living on the streets and people who are addicted to drugs can uh, go to a clinic and be shot up with free drugs because they're dope sick but yet our veterans have to sleep under bridges and they don't have medical care and they don't have mental health care what they need in a world where we see all that bad this is one thing that can be such a big thing because that's really the mission is to make it global and to give these kids the idea that you are somebody special. You're not just a throwaway. Your life is more than just $1,200 a month to a family to give you a roof over your head. You're more than that. You are a human being. And yeah, you've been dealt a bad hand. But there's people out here who's also been dealt a bad hand. But they believe in you. You are a human being. You matter. 
guys there's nothing else I can add to that so thank you for coming with me on this ride thank you for taking the time to listen to what I had to say about forgotten angels I pray that it touches your heart and I hope that you take the time to go learn for yourself exactly what Forgotten Angels is. And I hope you're willing to spread the word. Till the next time, guys. Y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And hey, thanks for watching.